Alright, today I'm going to be playing some Commander Keen Episode 4, Secret of the Oracle, the first of two games in the Goodbye Galaxy series. Before I get started, I'm going to do this. Oh, that's one thing I absolutely hate about DOS games is that uh, it sometimes can't make up its mind whether it wants to uh, have audio or not. Now let's try this again. Okay, there we go. That's what I want, because I don't feel like talking over uh, the game. Wait, what? All right, that's the very first time I heard of her Kina footsteps. Of course, if I were to turn the music back on, some of the sound effects you wouldn't be able to hear. Now one thing I don't quite understand is that why does a uh, Commander Keen's Pogo make farting sounds? If you take a listen, yeah, sounds like the uh, sounds like the Pogo stick has got a bad case of gas or something. Well, anyways, like I said before, this is the first of two games in the Goodbye Galaxy series, and the first thing you notice is that, well, outside of the graphical update here, is that this game was made. Sometime before the event of sound cards that were implemented into uh, later DOS games. Now what's unusual is that uh, this giant snail statue over here is the only time you get to see that giant snail. Kind of, it's kind of unfortunate that the that it doesn't appear throughout the rest of the game. I just love the little looks that they give. It's like, am I supposed to pee here or something? Um, I mean, I don't know. You tell me. Am I supposed to pee here? That's also hard to say whether that these guys are housebroken or not. Yeah, just carry me to the end there, guy. I also like the little uh, flavor text that the uh, stage gave before you entered it. This one was Keen Pummels into the Perilous Pit. Yeah, they just take the letter P and just uh, try to come up with as many words as they can. Just try to make it all the, try to make it sound all that catchy. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that it looks like uh, Keen's gone through some extensive training because he's got new skills. You know, the face of the mushroom is like, yeah, it's like I've had too many of my own mushrooms and now I've gone completely chaotic. And this is why, kids, you don't do shrooms. You know, it seems like Commander Keen's taking a lesson from the, uh, Contra dudes. However, to an extent. Like right now, he can now shoot upwards. And he can shoot downwards. But too bad he can't shoot at, uh, 45 degree angles. Although this would make Commander Keen the deadliest, uh, child hero in any game series. Oh, that's right, I gotta go back down there. You 
know, it's interesting. Interesting is that uh, they took some of the ideas from the Mario games. Oh, thank you so much for rescuing me. I'll return to the Oracle Chamber immediately. Uh, would you happen to know where that is? Because I don't know where it is. No sweat, oh guardian of wisdom. Jeez, King, quit sucking up. Yeah, like right here, he slips into Slug Village. Well, what else would you do? Whoa. Well, what else are you gonna do in the presence of a slug? Just stand there and look at it? You know, those trees are awfully too cheery to uh, just be uh, standing there. It's like this guy right here, who's got a profile pic, he's like, uh, uh, oh, I hate being a tree, this totally sucks. And, the, and the, some of the trees in the background are like, hey man, what's up? And of course, uh, like I said before, this tree right here in the very front, he looks way too jolly to uh, just stand there all day and do nothing. I was, oh yeah, I was talking about how some of the uh, concepts were borrowed from one of, from the Mario games. Where you collect raindrops, as in like collecting coins. If only Mario could uh, handle a squish out. Oh yeah, that's the only way to get rid of those uh, dragonfly-like creatures. Come on, dude, just hold still for two seconds. And speaking of being too jolly, now that I think about it, this guy's way too jolly for uh, his own good. He's like, oh, I'm just so happy right now, I can bounce all day long. You don't suppose he probably got some mushrooms off that mushroom, did ya? Alright. Now he's in Hillville. And what a nice looking oasis it is. Princess Lindsay. This kid to help you swim in Three Tooth Lake. It is hidden in Mirage, yeah. Um, are you really that stupid or something? Thanks, Your Highness. Good God, Keen. Just a simple thank you is enough. You don't have to suck up to everyone. Anyways, <clears throat> but yes, what she is did say is true. And that is something you're gonna need for three levels a little bit later. <laughs> Ah, Jesus. Oh, that's a good thing I got away from those rock dudes. Because they're kind of like the uh, boos from Super Mario Brothers. If you turn your back to them, they'll chase you. But if you turn around, they'll just stay in place. But unlike the boos... Yeah, I see you, Keen. But unlike the boos, you can actually shoot these guys. Back to the appearance of the moons. Oh, I get it. Like moonwalking. Ha, ha, ha. That's the interesting thing about some of these games from the 90s is that they introduce ridiculously bad puns. And like I said before, there's no music because I don't feel like talking over this game. But what is interesting to know is that this level has a secret. You see these inchworms right here. Well, I'm not gonna spoil it for you because, because that's not what I do. I don't like to spoil things for anyone.
Oh yeah, there's this little tidbit here if I can get, if it's here. And that's another thing I like about this game is that now at least King has idle animations like, yeah, you can do something, eh, whatever. I'm just growing bored of sitting here anyway, so I'm just going to read my book. It's not Playboy or anything, it's just, if you're wondering. Oh, and you got impaled in the head just for that remark alone. Honestly, I kind of like playing this game without music because it just adds that little something something. Oh, and I got an extra life to boot. Jesus. Well, no sooner I get an extra life, I lose it. Easy come, easy go. But then again, I don't have to complete this level. I'll just give him one more shot. And I think if I remember correctly, I think you have to visit two of the pyramids. stage. Uh, because apparently this thing is so finicky with the uh, hit detection. And there's, there's Miragia, a level that we have to complete. No, uh, no getting around it. Just got super lucky there. Oh yeah, that's one thing I also forgot to mention. Now King can drop between uh, sections, but this is se but that's seldom useful at best. Man, these snails just—that's where some snails can hold it in, but some snails just can't, or slugs, or whatever. Snails have shells, slugs don't. Oh, 
anyways, I don't know if going this way would be totally worth it. There it is. Cool, I can breathe underwater now. Not that I could ever before. Because I don't have gills. Yeah, Keen, we're well aware you're not a fish. Now bear in mind, I'm not gonna be able to beat the game here. I'm just here to, well, you know, share my thoughts and experiences with you guys. Ooh, that was close. Of course, if Keen had actually stepped into that, he would have an awfully hard time getting it off his shoe. He'd be like, oh man, this shoe is no longer bad, it's no longer good. I just stepped in slug piss and now I can't get it off. Well, Keen, you can always get new shoes. Just keep that in mind. You know, there's all those droplets down there, but unfortunately, I don't know how to get to them. It's such a tease. I know there's a way down there, but I'm just trying to remember how to get there. Well, it's a good thing can t Commander King can take all that uh, fall damage without killing himself. Although he probably have some severely shattered ankles. And he'd be like, I can't walk. I guess I'm going to have to crawl my way across the rest of this game. Oh, geez. Oh, I left without the key. Well, at least the game's nice enough to let you know that, uh, hey, we'll give you a second chance. <clears throat> There he is. Oh, thank you so much. I'll return to the Oracle Chamber immediately. Say, have you... And Commander King's like, you know, you look awfully familiar. Didn't I just rescue you like a minute ago? And he's like, uh, what are you talking about? You don't know me. Well, anyways, I'll return to the Oracle Chamber immediately. Sounds like a plan, bearded one. Ay, ay, ay. 
Well, anyways, then we got two of these dudes saved. Oh, yeah, as I was saying before, I have to clear at least, I think, two of the three pyramid levels. And I think this is one of them. He silently moves into the Pyramid of Shadows. Oh, yes, all the while making uh, noises with his uh, farting pogo stick and, uh, and his constant hopping. Yeah, that's real silent. Real close. Oh, this takes me back all the way over here. Of course, it's always towards the end. Oh, jeez. As I was saying, it's when I'm real close to getting an extra life, I end up getting killed. So go figure. Squish you. Anyways, I think now we're going to go put that scuba gear to use. Hopefully it enters the Well of Wishes. Well, I don't see anything hopeful about it. It's just considering the fact this place is littered with mines and spread. Well, you'll see in just a minute. And of course, these dudes. Oh yes, and there's him. The dope fish. Who made a name for himself, albeit a minor name? I mean, yeah, sure, he does make appearances in later games, but uh, well, I guess this is where the dope fish got his start. And as the old saying goes, we all have our humble beginnings. I mean, I could endlessly loop uh, extra lives here, but uh, I just don't think I'm gonna have enough points to do so. Because in this game, you get an extra life. First at 20,000, then it doubles, then to 40,000, 80,000, and so on.
I just love that. It looks like, hey. I was like, oh, I just want to be your friend. Oh, come on, don't run away. I just want to be friends. Oh yeah, we'll be. Fr he'll be friends with you, all right. Inside his uh, inside his belly. But you know, it's kind of un. It's kind of surprising that Commander King can't just shoot his way out. You know, like that time I just I got eaten by him, and all of a sudden. Well, actually, before I do anything stupid, I'm, I'm gonna save it here as uh, something. Yeah, we'll call it that. Something. You stay away from me. But the nice thing is that you can outswim him and you can go in places he cannot. Whew. Now that's some fast swimming there. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention he burps. Ah, oh, jeez. You know the stakes are getting higher the closer you're getting. Oh, come on, dude. Move. And of course, I'm going to do it again. There's our dude. We'll save it as something. I hate it when I do that. Oh, yeah, and this guy right here. Yeah, he's going to be a lot of joy to be get around. Because I think there's two of them here. There's him. Oh, hey, man, how's it going? Sup, dude? Yeah, like, this is real fair. Well, it's a good thing uh, I saved it here, too. So let's try that. We'll give it one more shot. Because, because he just blocks the way. And I'm, like I said before, you can't shoot. Yes, reload. It's too bad you can't deploy those little fishies like. We will go in front of you and we'll sacrifice ourselves! Oh, for God's sake. Get out of my way, you stupid dope fish. Yeah, you just have to play the waiting game, I guess. And honestly, this is the hardest uh, dude to catch. Oracle to rescue. Cause I think if I want to get below him, cause I have more room. Cause I can't get above him, cause he just keeps getting in the way. Yeah, yeah, you missed. Whew. Uh, dude, you might want to go into a decompression chamber first before you go to the uh, Oracle chamber. I think what he's saying is, good thing you saw... Well, I don't know what it's translated to. It's like, good thing you blank me for rescuing me. Thank you so much for rescuing me. I'll return to the Oracle chamber immediately, blub. Uh, provided I can get there before I run out of oxygen. No problemo. Yeah, now you're the Terminator. Keen, make up your mind. Either you suck up or you're some, or you pretend to be somebody else that you're not. Anyways, he gives the obligatory a thumbs up. And I think you guys get the idea here. Um, This has been Commander Keen, uh, or DOS Vlog episode number seven. Um, thank you guys all for watching, and I will see everyone next time.